Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can play an MP3 file in C Sharp. So let's get right into it. So in Visual Studio, you can right click on your project in the Solution Explorer and go to Manage NuGet Packages. Then in the Browse Search field, type N Audio. Then click on the N Audio library and click on the install button that will be here to install the N Audio library. We'll be needing it for this tutorial. Once you've got it installed, at the top of your code, do using system and using naudio.wave. Then in your main method, or whatever you want, we're going to do console.writeline, please provide the path to the mp3 file, and then string mp3 file path equals console.readline. So we're going to be asking the user for an mp3 file, and then we're going to be getting the user's input for that file path for the mp3 file. Then we're going to do if String dot is null or empty mp3 file path console dot write line no file path returned exit in the program and then do a return statement here. Basically, if the user doesn't input anything, that means there's no file path, so there's no point even trying to play that mp3 file because it doesn't exist because the user never provided a file path. So we're going to just close the program by doing a return statement because this program has one function. Then we're going to do try with the curly brackets here, then catch exception ex and then console.write line and error occurred plus ex.message. So basically, with try catch, we're going to execute some code in for try. If an error occurs, we don't let the program crash, we catch that error and then execute what's in the catch block of code. And we can do ex.message to get the message of the error so we know what went wrong. Then inside the try, we're going to do two using statements. So we're going to do using var audio file equals new audio file reader mp3 file path and using var output device equals new wav out event. So you use the curly brackets like you would with an if statement for these using lines of code. And basically what's happening is we're going to be creating two objects, an audio file reader and a wav out event object. And once we're done using those objects, they get removed out of memory. So we don't have to worry about deleting the objects or memory management when we're using a using statement. And the audio file reader will be reading the audio from the file, so our mp3 file, and the wave out event's going to handle actually playing that audio to your output device. Inside, we can do a few lines of code. We need to do output device dot init audio file, which is providing our wave out event object with the audio file, so it has something to play. Think of this as like putting a CD in a CD player. Then we're doing output device dot play, so we're going to be playing that music. Then I'm going to do console dot write line playing. Press any key to stop, and then we do console dot read key. And this music will continue playing until we enter a key on the keyboard, because when we do that, the output device dot stop function is called and that will stop the music and since there's no other code in this program the program will close. So I'm going to save our work and if you're in Visual Studio you can right click and go to open folder in file explorer in the solution explorer then go to bin then go to debug and this is where your c-sharp program runs in the editor. I have put an mp3 file right next to my program so I can just reference the mp3 file as opposed to a bunch of subfolders. You can put your mp3 file wherever you want, just make sure you get the file path correct or this obviously won't work. So let's save our work and press the play button. So it says please provide the path to the mp3 file. So I'm going to right click and it then pastes megalovania.mp3 into the console. I hit enter. As you can see, you can hear Megalovania playing one of the best themes in video game history. Then I hit the enter key, and the program stops and the music stops. So, thanks for being a great audience, be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and thanks for watching!